so the young Michael, he, he's 14 years old, he lives uh, in Fort St. George, and he's listening, and he thinks he wants to be a storyteller. What do you say to him? Um, or Mary, could be Michael or Mary. Um, tell your stories, find a way. Be unafraid to look at everything as a new beginning. Because we, you and me, we're not going to figure out anything. We have to get out of the way. Because your kids and my kids have a way better chance of making actual change. We've handcuffed generations with these vestiges of thought of practice. And I look at I look at some of the changes that are happening around us and I'm like, no school had prepared us for that. It's chaotic and beautiful and new. You're an optimist. Not for you and me. But if you are for them. For them. Thank God. We're stuck. We're so hopelessly stuck. But you're an optimist for that generation. If we can get out of their way. I thank you for that. Because I was getting depressed. <laughs> you got to go get the next generation. Uh, you got to get your Thank you, Michael. This was a journey, and I'm sure it was a great pleasure speaking with you. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, I was just trying to be as in too many interviews. You're asked to paint a a, a smiley face. Our systems are so irrevocably fucked. I'm embarrassed for us all. we could just get out of their way. So Greta Thunberg says, blah, 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 blah. That's, what That's us. That's us. That's everything we've been talking about. So blah, words, blah, blah. It's like we don't even hear it. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, You're a great artist, man. I appreciate, I appreciate the chance to talk. This is very truthful. Say how do you work. I'll do my best. Okay. You try are, not to. You are an optimist for the next generation. Try not that, to. Try not to be too down. It's hard. It's hard, man.